Hi, I'm Isaac Joe. I have a message to share with you. Even as many of us are going through many different challenges, sometimes when we face setbacks in life, I just want to tell you don't think of stepping back. What I meant is to surrender and accept defeat. Because the natural mind will usually expect and anticipate the worst especially when we are surrounded by uncertainty and negativity this is a dark period people go through when you can't really see beyond the now what you're going through you're not able to see good times ahead the facts of life may be against you though they may be all real what i meant is the reports can say like this uh, even your children's uh, mark sheets can say something your financial a balance can say something but that is real but they don't need to be permanent they can change they can change that is an attitude first i want you and all of us to accept is god can change things things need not be the way they are even health can come back and you may ask me how because uh, i go back to our father of faith abraham Now God says, "No, you look to Him. He is the rock from whom you have been cut." So when you look at Him, He was a man of faith. But in that faith, there is another shade, or what can I say, element of faith. The Bible says He accounted that God was able to raise Isaac even from the dead. When His only hope was the son Isaac, and the promise was given through Isaac, now God is telling Him, "Come and sacrifice." he never debated never argued never fought with them never tried to twist his hand but see the 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 element in that faith that is in another translation it says abraham assumed he reasoned that if isaac died god was able to bring him back to life again now this is something not expecting things not to happen but even if things can go wrong sometimes but god can straighten it and give it back so what are you going through my friend what are you going through what is bothering you what is making you feel heavy what is making you feel there is no uh, hope they say no there's no light at the end of the tunnel like that uh, but that can make you think no the life is over because naturally people think no once you go through this then the next this will follow my time is out maybe my health is out where is the time my youth is gone so all these thoughts will make you feel your life is over but i want to tell you your life is not over there's more to your life god is working behind the scenes god has got a beautiful future for you see god's nature he is able to reverse restore and give back the locust eaten days that is he can undo the past damage and recreate a new thing in your life so this is a very important lesson god wanted us to learn and he wants every person who wants to be adventurous in life to live life to learn that's why you see when god called moses when he was 80 years he almost gave up he was very uh, heartbroken but god called him to use him so when he called him the first thing he taught him one of the one of the few things initially to reinstate him into the ministry and to be used to bring the people of god from the land of egypt he did something what did he do in exodus 4 6 then the lord said to moses now put your hand inside your cloak so moses put his hand inside his cloak and when he took it out again his hand was white as snow with severe skin disease this is like a leper see when your hand becomes so leprous there is no hope that's all that's the end of it but that's what human beings can think so the next verse says now put your hand back into your cloak the lord said so moses put his hand back in and when he took it out again it was as healthy as the rest of his body my friend what is the lesson god is trying to do do you think god is playing games with him no he is teaching a very very important lesson for a leader to be so strong in the midst of all challenges is even when things go wrong god can turn the things around god can turn around things for me and god can bring back things that i have lost and believe god is able to change your situation 
your life right now what you are going through god can change your life situation he can heal your finance he can heal relationship he can heal your body and many other things whatsoever is a need of your life all you need to do is say lord i believe you are able to you are able to do lord this is exactly what the lord told martha only believe and you will see the glory glory of the lord the glory of the lord is something it's another dimension where it's not normal so the glory of god comes life comes so now in in our life in our health in our finances in our impossible situation we want to see life not death we want to see the glory of god and only need to say lord i believe i believe you are able father you are able to straighten out these things so i have hope lord even in the midst of the situation i want to thank you that you are a god who brings lord life who brings lord hope who brings back what i've lost you can make the crooked things straight whatever i've lost you can restore it many fold the same way you did it in job's life lord his latter life was glorious better than his former de- defeated destroyed life by the devil's attack he lost everything but he got everything twice i pray father i pray for my brother my sister whatever the heart is worried about i pray the hope that is in you you are able to give back help us to now i pray for my brother my sister that the ability to look beyond the present to look beyond the sadness to look beyond the failure look beyond the reports start to see my god surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and god will do a miracle in my life and i will live for his glory and i will not die but live and declare the works of god i pray that you do a miracle lord even as they hear this in jesus name Thank you friends God bless you